Delighted to be here with my special uh, Indian American friend, <laughs> Pranima. Um, it's great to see you. And this is one of my most important questions that I, I super enjoy to ask. And it's about, um, it's about influencers. And influencers come in all shapes and sizes. Sometimes it's a split second of somebody telling you something right at the right time. Other times it's for your whole life. Could you share with us like um, maybe two or three people that have influenced your life? Definitely one of them is my father, um, Mishri Lal Nagar, who was, uh, and I got all my inspiration on politics and business from him. But the real management I learned from is my mother. Family of nine kids, <laughs> uh, taking care of their education, making sure they are fed on time, uh, and also building relationship. As I said, relationships for business are built at home. So my father would say that go take the dealers to uh, enjoy the city of Jaipur, go sightseeing, uh, have lunch with them at a very fine Indian restaurant, but dinner will be at home in the evening. And that's the relationship building time. So I think my mother played an integral role uh, in the success of my father's business. He was a very successful businessman who became a wholesale dealer in the state of Rajasthan where there was no water. He brought water to every home, every field, uh, all the agricultural uh, business from A to Z, supply chain to products to services, everything he did for the state of Rajasthan. And I, re I really uh, enjoyed the benefits of being uh, his daughter because I learned networking by taking care of those guests that came to our house for businesses. And so I didn't know at the time that my father was teaching me, was mentoring me to become a networking queen <laughs> and also teaching me business and integrity uh, that is required in doing business and uh, ethical ways of doing business is what I learned from my father. And um, as uh, I said, another person that really introduced me uh, to a lot of great things was former Secretary of Technology, Mark Holzman. When I met him in the state of Colorado, uh, he was a global business leader. Currently, uh, at, at, as we talk, he's serving as a chairman of Bank of Kigali, uh, and uh, he's compassionate, family-oriented, and a global connector. Uh, he's been a personal influence for me, Mark, because um, he facilitated so many introductions for me, served on my board, fundraising guru is what he is, and he's great at relationship building. And when I say relationship building, the Indian way, because he has great relationship with all my three daughters. They never even ask me when they have to talk to Mark. It's Uncle Mark. They just pick up the phone and he's there recommending them to companies or recommending them to colleges. For, and um, he was actually president of DU when he recommended to Colorado College uh, to Richard Celeste, my youngest daughter, Rocky, and said that I got two of Purima's ki kids. This is your only chance. <laughs> so... Rocky went to Colorado College because of Mark. And um, I would say that uh, it means a lot to me when my children have other people as mentors or somebody they can go to because as Rocky went to Oxford University, Mark was in London at that time. Mm -hmm. And so it was a home that she could go to, stay the night, uh, play with his kids. So I think the business relationship, the true example of the Indian business relationship, I think I shared that with Mark. The second person that is truly a remarkable man is former United States ambassador to Bahrain, the chairman of the National US India Chamber of Commerce. The importance of diplomacy is what I learned from him. And uh, it's important to have mentors, sponsors, influencers in your life and who believe in your mission. That's the key word. Uh, who are willing to facilitate int introductions and provide open and honest feedback to help you grow. So he has been the backbone of our chamber and me personally, personally, and uh, he has, he is somebody that I reach out to with any questions I have and is a great man, mentor to me and a great individual to have around me. It's very important when you are in the learning curve, when you start an organization, 
how not to offend people, how to take care of uh, others uh, in, in your pro progress, that you, end goal that you're looking at. So uh, I think I really learned diplomacy from him and always talking about uh, the two great countries, India and United States. If you ever want to interview anyone, I would recommend him highly. You will see that how passionate he is about my passion and he loves India. And of course, he does love the United States of America. So those are the two people that really I feel that uh, have been great influence. There are many others. I believe that no matter where you reach in life, Mark, somebody has helped you. I always remember that quote. And there are many people that have come my way and helped me to become who I am. And I'm very indebted to the, those people. Yeah, I think it, it teaches us a great lesson that mm -hmm. um, I know you obviously impact people, your daughters impact people. It teaches us a great lesson about paying it forward and that, you know, we're always influencing people by what we do, what we say and everything. So um, it's- And I know that you are influencing women in a big way as well with your organization and your passion to promote women. And uh, I remember I was uh, so thrilled to receive the coin, Jasiki Rani, because <laughs> of the decade of women. So I did want to highlight that and, uh, and also wanted to just share with the viewers that uh, SDG 16 are very important goals of the United Nations. And I was very fortunate to be able to create the World Rocky Day at the United Nations last September in 2019, which kind of relates to Vasudev Kutumbakam because the whole global world is our family. We are all brothers and sisters, and we all need to promote peace, justice, and strong institutions that make a difference in this world. And yours certainly do. Well, thank you. We, we definitely try. And uh, I think people, it's, it's kind of like they talk about holidays, you get more satisfaction from giving than getting, and it actually is true that, that you do. And uh, so thank you so much for sharing that. And um, I know I don't, I don't have to tell you this, but keep making a difference. I will. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much for your friendship and your uh, charisma that you bring uh, to the table. And we all love you. Thank you.